just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyreek. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Good morning, everyone. Ooh, excuse me. It is Saturday, and it's almost 10 o'clock. Savannah and I are, I'm using Ray Dunn. That shouldn't surprise you. Savannah and I are going to go check out the dogs from the adoption place, see which one we want to foster, so. That's what we're doing today, and I'm making my coffee right now. It's supposed to be warm today. Okay, so we're going to the PetSmart in Folsom, and it's about a 30 minute drive. Uh, eight ounces. No. So they are there from, I hate when this does this. Let me show you guys. I need a new Keurig. Every now and then I'll get this message, and I'll need to use this thing to clean the needle. Seems like it happens really often, so that's the reason why I say I wanna get another one. I wanna get a different one anyway, a bigger one. I don't know why, but I just did. Come on, Savannah. It's 10:17. they start at 11. I guess is when they set up and bring the dogs out and where you can look at them and stuff like that. And yes, is where you can adopt the dogs, but also, um, the lady that I talked to, her particular company, you're able to foster the animals as well. What is Savannah doing? Okay, so we are at home now. And guess what? We are officially doggy foster parents. <laughs> we get him on Saturday. I think this is the best route for us to go because if he didn't work out for us, then someone could adopt him. And it was funny because when we seen him, we just knew we fell in love with him. I can't wait to show you guys him. Um, well, you guys already seen him, but I can't wait till he comes here. And yeah, you guys, they are going to be here on Saturday and they do like, uh, not a home inspection, but they check the backyard just to make sure he can't get out, which, you know, he won't be able to. And they just want to make sure the backyard is safe for him. Like he can't get out, dig a hole and go like to the neighbor's yard or, you know, that the gate locks and stuff like that so we're gonna pass i'm not worried about that i'm just watching this movie on netflix i think it's called silence have you guys seen it i think it's a netflix original i think i don't know good morning everyone it is sunday and i'm just trying to pick out something to wear to church yes i am cold it's freezing in here but i have my fans on y'all know i'm just weird and i don't know i just need the fans on but anyway, today's Sunday, like I said, just trying to figure out what I'm going to wear to church. I feel like I don't have anything to wear, but look at my closet, you guys. Yeah, <laughs> I definitely have clothes and I don't know, just getting tired of wearing the same stuff. I just need new clothes. So what was I gonna tell you guys? Here it goes again. Okay, so yesterday, Remember I showed you guys, my Keurig gave me the error message that I need to clean the needle. I cleaned it and it just now gave me the same error message. So I got this little thing and you fill it up with water. And I'll show you guys if I can't do it with one hand. 
Okay, and then you put it in there, and you're supposed to unplug it, I think. I don't know. And then you open and close it five times and see. I don't know if you can see the coffee that's in there that cleans. I'm guessing this needle right here. But I did it yesterday. So there should be no reason it's dirty again today. I'm getting a little warm, and my hair is a mess. Don't mind it. So yesterday, you guys, my friend Melissa came over. We had so much fun just talking and being silly. And I didn't even think to pull out the camera to vlog. Um, it was just fun spending time with her. So yeah, we're gonna have to do that more often, girl. We live too close not to see each other often. So, so you guys, the dog that we're fostering, Boston, he is supposed to come next Saturday. But if I can, if there's anything I can do to get him here sooner, I'm going to do that. I really, I have to get the backyard cut because, like I said, they do inspections. And my backyard is kind of high right now. Um, it's not as high as it's been in the past, but it is high. And I know if they seen it like that, you know, they wouldn't want the dog there. And plus, I wouldn't want him there when the grass is really high. You know, he's already going to be adapting to his new temporary home he's already going to be stressed so yeah i just want to make everything like a smooth transition for him and the reason why i am waiting until saturday like i said is to make sure i get the grass cut okay everyone i had to change my battery anyway what was i saying so it would be best if he comes this week because savannah is off look a mess i know savannah is off of school this week because of spring break so it would be good if someone is here with him during the day, especially while he's transitioning. So if there's anything I can do to get him here sooner, I will do that. That will be good. That way we can start him on a bathroom schedule. Tyreek is here during the day, but he's in and out. And he can actually take Boston with him when he goes places because they said he's really good in the car. So. If you guys are wondering why we are fostering a dog instead of just going get one, I think I explained it to you in my last video. I really want another dog. And I don't want to keep getting dogs and then if they don't work out for our family, you know, returning them or giving them away. That's just not cool. I'm doing it only because if we're just fostering a dog, and having a, giving it all the home and having someone else adopt it, I wouldn't do it. But we're kind of doing it for a selfish reason because we're hoping to gain, like get a dog. And that's beneficial for the dog, right? Because they'll get a new home. So we don't get any money out of it. I don't know if I told you guys this, whatever, but I don't get any money out of it. So they don't pay for that. They pay for their, his food, and what else um his heartworm medicine and flea and tick they pay for stuff like that and vet visits um because i don't own him so vet visits yeah we just hope to get a good family pet out of this whole situation because regardless of what some people think we do like animals we just need to have the right animal for us um, so I just hope that we don't get them and then within one week someone's like oh I want to adopt them and then we have to make the decision right then because I don't think we'll know in a week we probably won't even see his personality yet because I mean I don't know a lot about animals but when you move them from a situation that they are in they are accustomed to that and then you try to change everything they're a little bit confused probably like where am i where are my people that i'm used to seeing and stuff like that so we probably won't even know his real true personality i mean we were told how he is and i don't know if i told you guys this so when i'm editing this video if I already said it before, then I'll just take this part out, but the dog that we're getting, Boston, 
he has a brother named Bentley and they both came in around the same time I think she said last summer so they have had him since last summer they were owned by an older couple the wife died and the ow I just scratched myself ow that really hurt they were owned by an older couple and the husband could no longer care for them so he gave them to um, another family member well I guess that lady put them out in the backyard and just forgot about them and didn't really care for them just basically fed them watered them <laughs> like their grass and just ignored them so then she finally called the Cocker Spaniel place where you know I'm getting them from and um, the people took both Bentley and Bailey in so they've been there since then and at first they were trying to get them adopted as a pair because Bentley the brother is really attached to no yeah Bentley is really attached to wait did I say Bailey I don't know where Bailey comes from Bailey no Bentley oh my gosh I'm confusing myself Bentley and Boston yeah those are the two brothers not Boston and Bailey if I said that I'm so sorry anyway so they were gonna try to adopt them both as a pair because who's calling me I'm gonna keep repeating the same thing they were trying to adopt them as a pair only because they lived their whole lives together and Bentley is really attached to Boston and every time Boston walks away even for a little bit or whatever Bentley starts to whine and you know really get nervous and skittish and there were times that people I guess wanted to adopt one or the other organization said no they come as a pair no one wanted them so now they've changed their minds because they realize that Boston the one that we're going to foster is better off by himself. He really doesn't like any of the other dogs in his face. Um, they've tried taking him to a dog park and when other dogs come up to him to say hi, he, he doesn't attack or anything like that, but he gets really annoyed and he'll growl or snap at him. That's the reason why they said that he's better in a home with no other animals. Poor Bentley, I keep getting the names mixed up. The brother that we're not taking in he's going to lose his brother I mean he'll get used to it but even yesterday when we went um, see him Bentley was whining so much when we were walking Boston all these B names are uh, Boston Bentley ba Bailey I think there is a Bailey and yeah I don't know I'm just getting them all mixed up so yeah you guys we do like animals we do even though you know the thing that happened with cody yeah we just want someone who is going to be around a long time and i don't know if i told you guys this but boston he's nine years old and even though he's considered older um he his skin is good his eyesight is good what else she said um, his hearing is phenomenal her words not mine so well dogs don't dogs hear very good anyway even sounds that we can't hear so yeah so other than providing him a home and giving him love and attention I don't have to pay for anything yeah, like I said, I just hope that we have enough time with him to decide, hey, he's going to be ours. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday and getting ready for work. I may change the outfit I have on. I'm not sure if I'm going to wear this today or not. Anyway, today the house is like super silent. I'm the only one up right now. It is my late day. 
so it's so hard when everyone is home and you have to go to work and everyone is in their nice warm beds all comfortable because it is spring break for Savannah so she's off this week um, Cheyenne her office is closed on Mondays so she's in her bed asleep and Tyreek I'm not sure if he's scheduled to work today but he is in his bed asleep so yeah I'm the only one up and it was weird because last night when I set my alarm I set it to the regular time that I normally wake up on Mondays to get Savannah up. I woke up at four in the morning and it dawned on me. I'm like, wait a minute, it's spring break for her. So I reset my alarm just to wake me up in time. And I started thinking, I'm like, if I would've went in her room and been like, Savannah, time to get up, get ready for school. Should've probably been confused for a moment and then be like, wait, mom, it's spring break. But by then she would've been up and probably, mad that I interrupted her sleep but oh well but I didn't have to do that so I don't need a personal day I don't but I want one so there's this movie on Hulu I think it's called The Act and it's more than a movie it's like a series but it's based on real life events um, Savannah knows the well she doesn't know her personally but the girl who's playing the daughter in the movie um, but Patricia Arquette, I don't know if you guys know her, the mom from the show The Medium. She plays the mom in this series and it's called The Act and it's based on the real life story of, I had to look it up, um, the real life of Gypsy Rose, that's the daughter, the real life daughter, and Dee Dee Blanchard, which is the mom. Made her believe she was sick for years and that she couldn't walk and was in a wheelchair and all these things and then I guess later on the daughter killed the mom and you can google all this I had never heard of it until Shine was like mom this movie that's coming on Hulu and wait to see it because it just sounded interesting so the real girl Gypsy Rose she is in prison for killing her mom so I've seen a bunch of interviews on YouTube and all that and she really talks with like a high pitch voice. And so does the girl in the movie, because of course they're mimicking her. So I think there are, if you guys have Hulu, it's five or six episodes on Hulu. And when it first came out, I was watching it and I actually thought it was a movie. And then it was like to be continued. So, it comes on every Wednesday, or a new episode is on every Wednesday, but then I just stop watching it because I'm like, I'd rather wait till they're all on there and just binge watch them. So, after watching three, <laughs> that's what I finally decided to do. It feels so good being able to get up in enough time to have my coffee and... Just relax before I head on out but also at the same time because everyone is in bed I want to lay back in my bed so this is the show or the yeah the show the act and right now there's actually five episodes on Hulu and I've watched three but I kind of want to wait until they're all up there and I know it says season one and I'm thinking how long are they gonna how many seasons are they gonna have I mean you tell her story and then she goes to prison so I don't know how far they're gonna go I think they said that they're gonna have eight episodes in this season and that should probably be it I can't see them doing anything else but it's really interesting if you guys have Hulu definitely go watch this it looks like it's going to rain and I think the weather app said it's supposed to rain either today or tomorrow weird because I thought we were completely into spring now and here I am with a jacket on because it's a little chilly this morning so <laughs> I had got up early like I told you guys and had time well not early but I had time to make my coffee and just you know watch stuff on YouTube 
and scroll through social media. And then I started thinking of, okay, what I have to do after work because I have to mail some things off. And then I thought about, oh, on my lunch break, I need to make a few calls. And I'm like, oh, shoot, I didn't make my lunch. And so I had to run and go make my lunch. And yeah, all that getting up early and thinking I had everything taken care of and I almost forgot my lunch. And it's not like I have an hour that I can go run and get something. There's places around my job that I can go, but who wants to scarf the food down in like 10 minutes? So I am ready for the summer, well at least spring. And then by July, I'll be ready for fall and cool weather and boots and all that again. And now I'm just sick of it. So you guys, remember how I told you that my office uses these time cards? Well, today is the last day because pay period ends today. Today is the last day anyone is able to use them. They're going to take all the cards and just like completely take them away. And they've been complaining about everything. So I will let you know later on today exactly what their word is. I mean, I've been using the app. I only have one day on here. He told everyone this is going to be mandatory. So. I have one day on there because on the app, I can't go back and fill in my time. And then I've been logging in on the app. It's so easy to use. It's on your phone. It's also, I, <laughs> they are so like old school. I help them put it on all of the computers where they can log in and clock in that way. And they're still complaining. But anyway, so it's going to be the last day that they're able to do that today. So I will let you guys know, um, what they say because they complain about everything. So the app is saying 100% chance of rain by four o'clock today. So it's supposed to rain today. So I am home from work and Savannah and Cheyenne are not here. Um, they're hanging out today because today was Cheyenne's day off and Savannah is on break and Tariq is here but I think he's getting ready to go to work. So I am waiting for someone to come and give me an estimate on the backyard. And it's raining today. So I know they're not cutting it today, but I need for them just to look at it. So hopefully they will still come. I have to have everything squared away by the time Leo, I mean, not Leo, I'm telling you this dog, it reminded me of Leo. So yeah, hopefully they still come. I just want them to look at it and tell me how much it's gonna cost to cut it. And there's like three areas of my backyard that I want them to kill the grass completely. Um, like an area alongside the house and the side yard. And I wanna put rocks there because I just, I just do. So yeah, hopefully they will still come. I told them to come at 6.30 cause I got off at 5.30 today. And it's 6.05, so hopefully they will still come. All right, you guys, so vlog fail, I know. It's almost 10.30 and I am just going to end it here. So it rained today and the guy, he came over and he did an estimate on my backyard and I wanted him to do it on Wednesday, but he told me he was gonna come Friday morning, which he can come when I'm not here. And he has actually cut my backyard before this landscape company that I'm using I wish he can do it sooner because that way we can get Boston sooner because my backyard is pretty high you guys because we haven't had a dog back there or whatever and we just haven't cut the grass so we won't be able to get Boston until Saturday so I'm going to end it here thank you guys so much for watching give this video a thumbs up please do me a favor before you leave hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and we will see you guys in the next video bye